Hello everyone, Jono from Overdrive. I had a bit of an unfortunate incident yesterday where I smashed one of the windows of my wife's car, in particular the driver's door window in here behind me. So I'm in the process of swapping that over and I thought why not put up a video in case somebody is in the same boat. So I've done that uh, seemingly so while mowing the lawn, got a bit closer than I normally did and paid the price. So lesson be late, don't get too close to your car with your lawn mower. Um, I've already pulled the door trim off as you can see. Uh, that took a bit of fiddling around, trial and error, to sort it out. And obviously I needed to sort it out because my wife needs this car to shuttle our four boys around town. Um, our options, I guess, were to call the insurer. Uh, but they want a $600 excess, so I thought I could do better than that. And um, so I called around to try and get a replacement glass. And that's proved really difficult. So if you're chasing one of these, good luck to you, because I tried a couple of dealerships, they didn't have any. They checked inventory Australia-wide. Um, they reckon no one had any and a four or five week wait was their best estimate for stock out of Japan. Uh, a couple of local guys didn't have any, one couldn't give me a time frame, the other said 10 weeks and I eventually found one across town. Um, their last one advertised for a 2019 Toyota High Ace, so hopefully it fits, Toyota reckoned it, it will. Uh, the place I actually I got it from couldn't confirm that, so I guess we'll find out soon enough, fingers crossed. Um, if you're interested in pricing, the genuine item costs around 530 if I remember correctly, from Toyota. And the one I got, 255 So saving a fair bit and saving a bit, I guess, on the, the excess you'd normally have to pay. And plus I can get it sorted out quickly. So let me first show you, I guess, how the replacement glass comes. There you have the remnants of the original driver's door window smashed into a thousand pieces. An empty bag of Kentucky Fried Chicken and I didn't even get paid to advertise that one. There is my door trim already removed. Here is the replacement glass that I picked up from across town. Um, brackets are pre-installed, so they'll hook up to the window regulator and I'll show you guys that in a second. And as you can see, I'll turn it around. It is for a ZX or ZR. Uh, new Toyota High Ace, so it should fit the Toyota Grand Vio if Toyota has informed me correctly. And there's the lawn that I was mowing when I smashed the window, so it looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, once the door trim's off, um, we can get in there and give it a good clean because there will no doubt be some shattered glass in the, in the door cavity. So, hey buddy, you gonna help daddy? No. So just uh, pull this protective plastic up like so, and here you have a cavity that you can get into, so I've already been in there, but um, it's just these fixtures that you need to lever up with a screwdriver all around, like so, and then you can pull that off. So we can get in here and access the window regulator, which we'll need to do later. Um, now they'll clean up most of it, i will have to get the nozzle out and get right in there because I want all that glass out. Also be sure to clean out any glass that gets lodged in the window track here. So around the sides, the top as well, just uh, make sure you get every piece because you don't want it to get in the way of your new window as it slides up and down. Okay, back again. So it took um, a little longer than I thought it would to clean out all the shattered glass out of every nook and cranny in the door cavity. Uh, I found the leaf blower helped to dislodge some of the bits that were sort of stuck in the crevices and then I sucked them up with a vacuum. So I'm actually back the next morning because I ran out of sunlight. Um, so now I can confidently say that when I shut the door, can't hear any glass moving around, so I'm happy with that. And I've got every piece. So, because the, the door was shattered, or the window was shattered rather, in the utmost position, um, I can't actually see where we need to bolt it onto. So what I'll need to do is hook up the window controls temporarily. Just by plugging in the wiring harnesses. So we will lower this one so I can see what we are doing. And I'll get the camera off and show you guys what I mean. Okay, so I'll just leave that there for a second. Okay, let's give you guys a better look. So I've winded that window down and you can see the bracket off the old window and a few bits of shattered glass still stuck on it and a 10 millimeter bolt we'll need to remove. On the other side, I couldn't see it 
I couldn't access it really, so the speaker's got to come away as well. Um, that's a wiring harness up the top we'll need to unclip, and there's a few bolts. Um, I've already undone the other couple, so I'll put the camera down and do that. That speaker just pulls out, straight pull, and there you can see the left bracket again with a few bits of glass around it and another bolt we'll need to remove. So let's go and do that now. off. Uh, a few bits of glass dropped in so I'll clean that up and then we'll look at lowering in the new piece of glass. There is one more step before you can insert the new glass and that is you need to loosen one of the, the side channels so that the car manufacturers normally have a way of doing that that's built into the car. So there's the channel on the inner side and it's connected to a couple of bolts here. So one ends in under here see the bolt in there and then the other one is in under this uh, rubber up here that one so we need to undo those that'll loosen up that channel and then we can slide in the new window sorry there is a third one a uh, third bolt holding in that channel just a little higher up there so let's get that one off as well as you can see that channel's got a bit of play in it now all right so that should be enough for us to squeeze our new glass in. All right, easy does it. Make sure you've got the curvature facing outwards or the way it's supposed to be. You need to go in at an angle with the leading corner. Nice and easy, take your time. front channel so we've got a bit of play in that now so we can move that to the side put our window in and check that we're sitting correctly so yeah both channels there so now we need to lower it to a point where our brackets line up with the regulator and drop the window Position on the regulator rail. Okay. I'm just going to leave it sitting there now. Let me give you guys a close up of that. So there we have it. Sitting on the rail where it should be. And we'll pop our bolt back in there. And the same goes for the other side. Just make sure you're sitting properly in the channels. You don't want to be doing your glass any damage once you start using it. And uh, we're all good. Let's do it back up and give it a run. Okay, so we're all bolted back up, uh, both the regulator and the window channel here. So let's give it a whirl. Beautiful. It's working as it should. So I can confirm that the high ace glass fits the ground here, as you would expect. And uh, now to put the door trim on. So I'll make another video out of that. But uh, I hope this has proven useful to someone out there. If you've gone and smashed your wife's window. So see you next time.